So when we connected our mesh to our joints, right now we can create controls for our joints actually. So let's try to create control for this joint. Let's switch to rigging. And right now we should create NURBS circle, for example. And let's snap right here. Scale this element. Also, we can change the form of this curve. Oh, but at first I want to put this curve insert right here and let's change form of our curve maybe something like this and also I want to create a group for my control So let's took the name, for example, from this joint to our control, but let's change joint to control, control, okay, and again copy this name and paste right here. group also I want to press select and snap to this joint and we should freeze transform for our control And right now I want to make the same axis direction as on our joint for our group. So let's select the group, parent, apply. And again, freeze transformation. At, and right now this axis also Z rotate and right here the same okay so right now we can just select our joint constrain constrain uh, orient Let's try. Yeah, it looks good. So let's copy this.
control. Move right here. And right now I want to create control, for example, for my hill. So let's again insert, press V, snap to this element. And I want to rotate. Let's actually freeze transform and turn this control on 180 degrees and let's change the form of our curve For example, something like this and right here. Okay. And let's change our control to heal. And also our group heal okay so let's select our joint our group delete this and modify freeze transform transformation And now let's select our joint and again orient. Let's try. Yeah, it looks good. And in the same way we can create controls for each of our control. And I want to show you an example of on this leg, this la left leg. So let's continue. Mm, let's create control for this joint. So let's again create a um, circle turn on 90 degrees press V and let's check Yeah, not bad. And let's move our control to the side a little bit. Something like this. And again, create group let's took the name of this joint yeah so we take the name of this joint copy um, to this control control and again copy and group okay 
and in the same way um, no and again insert V let's check yeah not bad and let's select our joint our group constraint parent uh, apply and actually I want to show you why I put this constraint on my group let's turn on our axis of our joint and right now on our group and you can see that they are different so for example if I want to rotate my joint it will rotate in that axis and my group it will be X axis but I want to make them the same so again let's select our joint group constraint parent and let's turn off our axis right here and again we should always freeze transform for our controls all values right here should be zero so again freeze transformation let's try yeah z axis let's select our joint and again orient apply and let's check but for example you can see that this joint turns in right way and it looks good but in for this joint and for this joint it looks not very good actually so if we want to make in right way we should make a hierarchy of our controls so for example uh, this control let's put to this and this again to this control and let's try so right now it works in right way also I want to create control for this joint so again let's copy this control Press V, snap right here. Um, and let's snap to this joint. Zero. 
zero and zero value. And again, let's create group for our joint. Copy the name. Control. Right here. Group. And again, select our joint, our group. But at first, no, we can just create this. And let's try. Yeah. And our joint. Okay. And again, freeze transformation and orient apply and let's try also let's put this Control to this and you can see the strange rotation in this place so let's make right hierarchy for example let's took this element to this and let's try again And right now it it's working in right way. Let's try right here. So let's continue on our knee. I just want to copy this. And actually I can copy with my group. here let's copy the name to our control group And again, let's select our knee, our group, parent, delete this. Let's select our joint, orient. Oh, I forgot about freeze transform. And again, constrain, orient, yes. 
here. Now it looks not bad. And also I want to add control for this calf muscle. And again, um, control D. Press V and snap to this joint. Yeah, it's right. Uh, and first of all, again, I should take the name to our control. again parent apply delete and freeze transform and again select our joint orient apply and let's try yeah right now it looks not bad And also I want to create control for my this joint. So let's create a curve for this control. But in this time I want to make this control like two arrows. Because I will move this control to the light uh, to the left or to the right so let's hide our mesh and our joints let's find our curve tools right here let's pref press X on our keyboard and let's start press enter press center pivot Let's turn on our joints, press V right here, turn this curve on 90 degrees, group, insert V, snap to this joint. Oh, and again, let's copy the name to our control. And in the same way, group. So let's select our joint, our group, parent, apply. And no, please transform. And in 
In this case we should select point constrain. Let's try. Yeah. Not bad. And let's also put our controls to our knee. Let's try. Yeah, not bad. And the last one for our leg. Right here. So again, let's copy um, let's snap to our this place. Mm. Also, I want to move this control to the side and scale it. Something like this. Let's copy the name to our control and in the same way for our group. Let's select our joint group constraint parent. Delete this constraint. and freeze transformation orient and let's try but right now we should add our knee to our leg top and let's try again yeah right now it looks much better. So in this way we can create controls for our for our all controls where we need. But what if we want to scale our controls? So right now it works in strange way. And I want to show you how to make right scale on already all controls that I made for my robot. So wait a second. <laughs> so at first we should have a right hierarchy for our character. For example, all elements on my scene I add to one group. And for example, in this group, I have my controls. They are also in hierarchy. But in this scene, I turn off my leg because I wanted to show you how to create controls in new scene. So I should open scene where my whole rig already made 
and ready to scale our model in this way. So let's try again to turn this control. Yeah, right now. It's looking good. So we should open our windows, general editors and connection editor. And right now we should select our root control. And we should press reload left. And right now, in your case, you should turn off this show non cable. And we should select scale of our root control. And the next step, we should select our skeleton and press reload right and and first you should check that your group of your skeleton have the same pivot point as your control group for example in my case uh, and in your case actually should be or group control and skeleton in this zero zero value coordinates something like this and when you check your pivot points you can also select right display and also turn off your non keyable elements and select scale in this right side. And in this way we connect our controls to our skeleton, to our joints. And right now we can move our character we can rotate and also we can scale 